chimney sweeps at weddings, wearing something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Where do these traditions come from? Well, this video reveals all. Before we get started, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I make wedding planning videos and tarot videos related to weddings. So if this is something that interests you, please subscribe and help me build my little channel so I can reach more people. My social media links and websites are in the description and I have a wedding planning book available on Amazon, iBooks, Kindle and Blurb. Links are in the description. So let's find out where all these wedding traditions come from. It's good to do something different and shake things up once in a while, but sometimes following tradition can make things a bit easier because you're not inventing the wheel. Personally, I like weddings that are a little bit different, but sometimes traditions are there for a reason. But what are those reasons? Let's find out. The first one you'll all have heard of. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I'm sure you've all heard this traditional rhyme. But where does it come from? Well, it derives from an old English poem. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, a silver sixpence in my shoe. It names the four good luck objects that the bride should include in her wedding outfit or somewhere about her person and also includes a silver sixpence for prosperity. Something old was traditionally to ward off the evil eye and also to protect any future children you had. But generally it now represents continuity and a couple might use this tradition to wear a piece of jewellery or an item belonging to an older relative. Something new is optimism for the future. It is a new chapter in the couple's life and something new represents this. Anything new the bride is wearing will cover this, including the dress, veil or tiara. Something borrowed brings the couple good luck. Borrowing from a happily married friend would ensure that their good luck would rub off on you. Traditionally, the old fashioned superstition urged the bride to borrow her friend's undergarments, especially from a friend who had healthy children, to in order to ensure that she also had healthy children. Not sure I would borrow somebody else's pants though, but you can borrow anything you like to observe this tradition. Something blue was also meant to ward off the evil eye and also promote fertility, purity and faithfulness. A traditional something blue was a blue garter worn under the wedding dress. You don't have to wear something blue though. You could include blue in your wedding flowers or ribbons on invitations. Quick promo, my book, Planning a Wedding, The Wedding Planner Way is out now on Amazon, Kindle, iBooks and Blurb and also available from my Etsy shop. So if this is something you're interested in, please check out the description below and all the links will be there. It's full of lots of useful information covering everything from the start to the finish, including wedding day timelines, runs through the whole wedding day, how to deal with the seating plan, children at weddings, do you, don't you, <laughs> the speeches. It's all covered in a nice, friendly, down-to-earth style. So do check it out. Thank you. Chimney sweeps. Why are they at weddings? There is a tradition that is good luck to shake the hand of a chimney sweep on your wedding day. I have coordinated a few weddings where chimney sweeps were there to greet the couple after they came out of the ceremony. But where has this tradition come from? According to CuriousHistory.com, it dates back from when a chimney sweep saved the life of King George II. It was the 17th century when one fine day King George II was riding his horse on the streets of London. Unexpectedly, a big dog came in his path and scared the horse. The horse lost its control because of fear and started jumping restlessly. King George II also lost his control on the reins. There were many people on the street who were witnessing this incident, but no one came out to help the king. Then suddenly, a courageous chimney sweep appeared and helped the king by grabbing the horse. This heroic act saved the king's life. It was the moment when King George II gratefully declared chimney sweep as a sign of future success. From then, chimney sweeps were regarded as a sign of good luck and success in England. Horseshoes. The giving of a horseshoe to a bride is a long-standing tradition. Well before Christian times, a horseshoe was thought to represent a crescent moon and was therefore a very potent fertility charm. 
In Victorian times, the tradition was established as a way of bringing good luck to the newlyweds for the duration of their lives together. The horseshoe has to be held upright, as otherwise, all the luck will run out. Throwing confetti. The throwing of confetti or rice is also a tradition thought to bring about good luck and fertility. Fertility is a theme in a lot of these traditions and superstitions. And finally, cutting the cake. This tradition stems from the time when, historically, the bride would make the first cut to ensure the marriage would be blessed with children. So there you go, a run through of some of the wedding traditions that you can follow if you so choose. Um, there are more in my book, Planning a Wedding, the Wedding Planner Way. Uh, details of my book will be in the description below. And yeah, hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.